turn off the power to the Scottsdale fixtures, unwire them, remove them from the canopy deck. In the process of removing them, you will then discard of all the other components and recycle them to local codes. Once the fixture is removed, it will expose the 4-inch hole that was originally used for installing the Scottsdale. When installing the crossover 3 into the 4-inch existing Scottsdale hole, you will have to locate the mounting plate which is used for retrofit on the top side of the canopy. This big aluminum plate has the 5-hole pattern already in it. You will need to put two beads of the supplied adhesive sealant on this mounting plate outside the the bolt pattern that fits in the 4 inch hole. After that we will also need to apply a bead of the sealant around the 4 inch hole on the top side of the canopy deck. Locate the driver box, open it, and inside you will find the mounting stem for the driver box and the hardware to secure it to the canopy deck. Next step is you will take from the bottom, somebody will take the fixture hold it up to the canopy deck, the four mounting studs will fit in the existing four inch hole. This is a really great thing because you don't have to drill the canopy. From the top side of the canopy when the fixture is held in place, take the mounting plate with the adhesive sealant, slide the wires through the center hole, it'll line up with the four studs and the center wiring and slide it down on the canopy deck. Once this is in place, you'll install the four stainless steel gasket of washers over the studs, put the nuts on there, and tighten them up using a ratchet. Once the nuts are secure, locate the orange gasket, slide it down on the stem, then you'll slide the metal washer down. Once the metal washer is in place, you'll then install the o-ring in the, on the stem. Locate the stem, slide the wires through the stem, and screw it down securely onto the nipple of the fixture. Remove the top nut from the conduit stem, and then take the other nut, slide it, run it all the way down on the threads, put the driver box on, and put the nut on top securing it. Once the driver box is in place, you will be able to reinstall the existing conduit into the supplied holes on the driver box. There's a knock on each side. They are the same height and location lining up exactly with the conduit that was in the Scottsdale. Once the primary feed is reconnected, you will then be able to take the driver box, set it on top, hook up the five wires coming from the optic piece, and reconnect your primary feeds. The five wires that come from the optic unit will plug into a terminal block that you simply push down on the top of the terminal block and insert the wires, making sure you match up the proper colors. All the wires are color coded. Once the wiring is complete, straighten up all your wiring, tie them up using the wire ties, reinstall the driver cover, and tighten up the, the bolts. As you'll see, this is a very simple installation when retrofitting the Scottsdale fixture.